Good evening. So the time is 7.52. My name is Mimi, of course. Welcome to the channel. Hold on. <laughs> that was a bit loud, wasn't it? Right, let me just... Just going to tighten that up a bit. Hello. So, you've got a different angle tonight. <laughs> I don't know if you're up too high or not, though. We'll figure it out, won't we? Hello. No problem at all. I will do that now. There you go, my dear. Thank you very much. Right, this t-shirt, this um, jacket's got to come off. It does now, yes. <laughs> but the good thing is, we've had a switch around. So what I can do is I can turn you all the way around to the angle you used to see, which was over there. Or you can stay this way which is now where the sewing machine is. You are up a bit high though, aren't you? I just don't want the camera to fall. How's that? Is that a bit better? Hmm. Sort of. <laughs> you know me, I'm never happy with it. So, how you been? All okay? I've left my spoon in the house. Oh, I'll have to use this one. What a wally. You certainly will. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got something really cool to show you in a minute as well. Well, I think it's really cool. Psychic thinks he's really cool. So yeah, I know. Doesn't help with the heat at all, does it? Yes. I still don't know if that kettle clicks off itself. I'm still doing it by myself. <laughs> what can you do, eh? Right, push that back there. Let's get my cup up. That really does sound like peeing, doesn't it? I'm not honest. <laughs> Hello. I'm doing good, Vanessa. Lovely to see you again. How are you? I best not leave that wooden spoon in that hot tea for too long, eh? Right. Go. I'm all good, Kirsty. Thank you. Thanks for your advice on the shorts. No problem at all, mate. Honestly. Nelly. Hello. But I'm trying to make sure the tea doesn't stay on the wood and spoil the wood. Because I forgot my spoon like a plonker. Honestly. Right, let me put this water in the fridge. There we go. Sorted. 
do, 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 do. I'm still getting used to the setup myself, honestly, because I'm so used to coming into the shed and sitting down, whereas now I come in and come to the left. Yeah, it's so weird. But I love it, though. I really do. I've got a table that hubby made me that you're on now. Um, he's called it his hard up table. That's what he named it, not me. Um, so that's what you're on. And you're on like... I don't know how to explain it. You know the top part of um, the drawers that were over here? Because they wouldn't fit under the big table as four, we took the top one off and I'm using it as a, a tabletop rest. Um, and then the other three fit under the table but that's what you're seeing on. And I'm using that drawer as all of my now projects. So, yeah. It's had a bloody good rearrange, and it needed it. Because <laughs> I got rid of so much stuff, it's unbelievable. How you doing, my Nelly? How is everybody? Oh, I've got storage. Oh, I don't need no more. <laughs> I don't think I could actually fit any more in here, to be fair. I really couldn't. They won't even go under this table. Well, it would have gone under, but because it's got um metal legs that come down at the front they come out a little bit down and then all the way to the back and up because it's an old um oh what was the stuff it was made of nelly i know you said it uh, i can't remember um but yeah i can't move the legs or do you know what I mean? Take one leg off and have it on the drawers because they're metal. It just will not come off at all. It's pain-free today. Brilliant. So did you test the shorts? you got to let me know if you tested it. <laughs> do you know what i hate that i mean i have to share it with you you know not long been to the loo and i'm gonna need to go again in a minute it's the hey isn't it Kirsty? it's not good Oh no. Yeah, it gets me sometimes as well, especially when it's um it goes from like a comfortable steady heat and then it just shoots up. You know, it's that's the sort of temperatures that will cause a, a seasonal cold and things, aren't they? Yeah. Oh I know I might oh, I've got Fabul again. So this is what I want to show you. It might just look like a roll of sellotape, but it's really not. <laughs> this is fun on a roll. <laughs> oh, Kirsty, you just take it easy, yeah? Especially in this heat. You've got to be able to, you've got to just, <sighs> Nelly keeps telling me this, you've got to be able to listen to your body and know when you need to just chill. Yeah. Bless you. Yeah, I'm a bit like that. Well, I was a bit like that earlier. Just like, so yeah, I don't know. 
still thinking, you know, the person who I spoke to you about the other day, Nelly. Still got that on my mind a little bit, you know. But then I will have for a little while. It's going to happen. But, yes, life goes on, doesn't it? It has to. Excuse me. I'm burping at you now. So, yeah, I've got some. These came with it. They might be a bit of a hint. These came with it. But I can't use that because it gets stuck. And guess what it is yet and we've got some sparklies to go in it yeah we've been telling her to rest don't we Kirsty? no no i don't know blue gun's coming out oh, no <laughs> This is coming out. <laughs> These are so cool. I can't wait to show you. It's just, like I said, it's like fun on a roll. They're really good. I would say suitable for... Well, Sidekick loves them. That wasn't a glue stick. <laughs> That's tiny. <laughs> yeah, ages I well, sidekicks twelve. It, they are very sticky, um, and they don't last very long. So for a youngster, they would be pretty disappointed. Um. But like maybe eight years and up, I would say, because then they can understand that, okay, we can do this, but then it's not going to last long and then it's got to go in the bin. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I can't use that one, though. I've got to use this one. I've got to use a metal one. Because it doesn't work very good with him. Oh, have you? Um, okay. Um, privately, obviously. Yeah. No worries, mate. It's right with my phone's down there, so I don't. I'm looking up here, I don't really look at it. Angie did pop on Jerry Boys earlier, um, but she did have to go off and have a lay down, so she's still resting. I hope, even if she's in the background, I don't mind her being in the background, but she needs to have her rest. Because I did tell her earlier that I would kick her up the bum if I found out that she wasn't resting. Yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just saying she did pop on Jerry Boys earlier. But she's all right. I've got sight in the eye. Sorry. It wasn't me pulling faces. That's me got sight in the eye. Right. Do you know what? I'm really sorry. But like I said, despite the fact me going to loo before I came out here, I've got to go again. Right. Kirsty, we be okay for two minutes. I just want to make sure. I've 
can obviously watch from from my phone so turn the volume down <laughs> Right, I'm just going to mute it, okay? I am watching, um, yeah, I'm watching on my phone as well, okay? So I got you. Right, I'll be back. Two minutes. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> so, have we all had a good week? That's what I want to ask you. Gunner decided that as soon as um, the shed was all cleared out the other day, that he was going to use it as a... Um, <laughs> my room i'm laying on the floor with my ball and my toy you have to leave me here <laughs> oh is it that one is it yeah not good eh? so we've got the hand crank is under the table at the moment. Obviously, this one up here. Excuse me. You can't really see much from this angle. But, like I was saying to Kirsty, because it is all cleared out now, I can turn you round. And you can show, I can show everything. Because this will do. <laughs> I know, I remember you was telling me, hopefully they will um, rebuild and 
put something back in its place, you know, because there can't be nothing there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> me and geography don't go well together either. I say to hubby, tell me which way to go and I'll get you there. Don't tell me street names or turn at this pub or don't remember that pub? No, don't remember. No. Buggered. So I'll have this and then I'll show you what that little roll does. I'm going to move my kettle out of the way. Um, do, do, do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. So I was using the hand crank um, last night. And I noticed that for some reason it was skipping stitches. So I might have to um, get it looked at maybe. That's right, I'm, I'm not so used to seeing. See in the corner of your screen right there, you can see this ribbon. It's just, I can't, my eyes are going everywhere at the minute. Um, I might have to get it looked at. Just to see why it's skipping stitches, maybe. See what's going on with it. But yeah. Um, and I've not been out here. Been, oh, I've been, well, not just me, little lady. Loads of places. So yeah, it's been, um, it's been a bit of a busy week this week, honestly. But I'm glad out here is done. Um, the house is all sorted. You know, it's just getting used to things how they are now because they've been the other way round for so long. I've just got to get used to it. <laughs> you know what it's like. Change is as good as the rest. But when the change happens, you think, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's down there now, or yeah, that's over there. Yep, yeah, that's up there. Yep, yeah. you know, <laughs> and my brain just doesn't click that quickly. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to make you seasick, but I can turn you around if you'd like to see. Just let me know and give you a little spin. Well, not spin as in spin. I can turn you around slowly. Oh, don't say that, Kirsty. <laughs> hey, Scott. <laughs> How's you doing? Something looks different, Mrs. M. Does it? <laughs> I can live without you. Right, okay. I'll go slowly. Don't fall. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. So, that's the view that you would have seen. So there's the big table, the dirty ashtray. And this is the view that you're seeing now. Sorry about that. I'm trying so hard not to drop y'all, sorry. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> because the sewing machine's obviously the other way round now, you just had to drop me on my face, didn't you? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, what I will do is when I'm going to do the free motion sewing, I will close the front of the camera down 
so you don't get like seasick or anything and bring you over to i'm going to stick you on this box in front of the machine here hopefully does anyone know if it'll interfere with the modem i don't think it will will it it shouldn't do but i'm going to put the camera on top of the box either behind here so you can see or at the back here so that you can see what i'm doing but i'll put the front down of the camera first so it don't make you all seasick and prediction text meant to say me's good okay and you rest in yeah Do you have a fly or a gnat in here? Honestly. But I've got my set of sewing feet to show you. Yep, she's had her orders. Perfect. Like I said earlier, she can be in the background all she wants, but she's not going to be doing anything. <laughs> well, I said that to Kirsty because Kirsty's taken over, bless her. But yeah, it'll all be good. She'll get there. But yeah, obviously, I've said to little lady and hubby if you need to come up to the shed, like knock and then stand back. Because I don't want them on camera. And they know that. That is all good. It'll be alright. I'm just turning you a little bit more, okay? Just back to where you were. There you go. So, did you have a ride out this weekend, Scots? I know you've been looking after Ange. Mm. Awesome. I'm not sure, Kirsty. Maybe she's busy tonight, mate. I don't like change. I feel lost and confuddled. I'm still here. <laughs> uh, get used to it. I said, uh, it's better for me this way. I know you understand that anyway, because now I've got this whole table to do the cutting and that on, which last Sunday I kind of had a problem with, didn't I? So, yeah. At least now, and it's the big table's tiled, so I, I don't need to cover it with anything. I can just run the scissors or the roller cutter along it, and it won't cut the tiles. So it's all good. And of course, my yard up table is a little ex excuse me, as a little extension that goes right up to the wall now. So it's all good. It's all good. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> right, let's get going. Instead of you sitting there watching me have a cigarette and a cup of tea, because it's not very, um, although I've never claimed to be professional. So, that roller tape. It is so cool, and you'll understand why, right? So I need to grab them scissors because they can get sticky. So it's quite thick, okay? You see how thick that is? Thicker than normal tape, right? So what we do, 
I've been asked to save some for little lady, so I'll only chop off. Oh, you can't even see it. I'll chop off a little bit. Okay, it's really, really mega sticky. I'll put it out there so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and then what you do, I'll tell you the name of it after. Kirsty, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> it is nanotape. We was testing them in the week. And they're so, so cool. <laughs> I was going to blow that hole open then, but I thought, no, I better not, because all the sparkles will just go everywhere. Oh, I can't even get it open, man. So what you need to do is you need to cut off as much as you need, okay? And then... Ah, oh, brilliant. It is proper, proper sticky. So you just get your sparkles, all right, pop them in the middle, but leave space for your straw. And I would suggest to use a metal straw because the straws that they supplied with it, you can't pull it off as quick as you need to, to do it up again. Right, so grab your straw, okay. And you just stick your straw that far on. All right. And then you've got to fold it over. You can't even see that, can you? There we go. So you fold it over, but just close up the edges. Make sure it's closed tight around the straw, okay. <coughs> right, and I've got to plug in the air dryer. Because in order for it to create a bubble, you have to heat it up. Right, so it's got um, a tape attached to it on the outside, so you have to take that off first. This is so cool. For, uh, like I say, I would suggest over eight years old, because anything under, they won't sort of understand that it doesn't really last that long. And you'll see over the course of tonight. Right, so you take the tape off, okay. Take your finger off it and all. Right, it will start to bend and move about. All right, but you need to get the hair dryer and just heat it up. Ooh. Wrong way, and then blow. Ah, oh, crappers. Sorry, excuse the language. But you have to rip it off the straw so fast so that it don't go back down again, as you saw. You know, it stuck to my fingers. I didn't chip trim the edges off. because It's just an example. But that's a nano bubble. You move me noggin out of the way. So that will go down. It smells well funky as well. That will just slowly go down. They say to put it on um, baking paper because it doesn't stick to baking paper, which is good. But yeah, they're, they're just, it's something really daft and really silly. But if you've got Litlands, that um sorry 
if you've got little ones that like the idea of bubbles um and they're okay with it popping within i'll say what one of them we done the other night that was about five minutes and then another one we done lasted for about half an hour so it just oh now it's stuck to my laptop it just depends really but yeah they're just i just wanted to show you them and do like a little review thing on it because they are quite cool i should have trimmed this off they are quite cool but yeah as you can see like proper proper sticky <laughs> They are squishy, but yeah, like I say, sticks to your hands. So if anyone was thinking about getting nano bubbles, for the fun element, yes. But if you want them to stay up long, nah. I mean, they get in the kit. You get like um, key rings as well. And little um, faces, like sticker faces to put on it. But it's not worth it. Because sometimes they just do not stay up for long enough. But yeah, that was just a quick silly thing. Because... <laughs> me and little lady and hubby actually because he done one as well had great fun <laughs> i know little things and all that but yeah it's just a, a daft little thing that i found on i think it was ebay um i thought i'd give it a go <laughs> so Let's get down to what we was going to be doing tonight. Need some fabric. Have I got any plain? No. Where's my plain gone? I'll cut some of this black off. But yeah, all the drawers are in um, like easier reach as well. Well, yeah, this is what I thought. Why would you put key rings and that in the kit if they don't even stay up that long? It's really, I mean, this one's not done too bad. Stayed up for a, a little while. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the one that we done during the week was huge. I've not started it yet, Kirst. She's, um, she's been busier than me this week. <laughs> she's been a right busy bee, that one. But yeah, hopefully we'll um, we'll get onto it soon. Right, so I've just got a plain black, okay. Oh, the red arrows are amazing. They are so good. So I'm just making sure this is all cut properly. Nope, they're sticky now. <sighs> I did say I could get them one sticky, didn't I? <laughs> Can't really complain about it. Right, um, over there out of the way do you know what i'm finding that i'm tidying up a lot quicker 
after I've done what I need to do, <clears throat> since the, the shed's been sorted out and reorganised, tidying up a lot quicker. I thank you, Kirsty. It was a lovely present. <laughs> Have you seen the back of it, Kirsty? I'm sure I showed everybody. I'm sure you was there. Eels over on that window are lovely. I thought I'd leave that one plain for now. Um, I will figure out something to put up on it. I've got my plaque up there at the minute. But I will figure out something to put up there. That's the one, yep. <laughs> right, so I did test this out earlier. Um, one needle broke, but I put one of these um, universal hemline needles on it, and then I tested it again, and it was fine. This tea is really repeating on me, so sorry. <coughs> so, fingers crossed, um, this will be okay now. Hello, put Piglet on the window. I'll have to see if I've got one. <laughs> oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Okay. Have you got bad weather up there? Oh, it's been so hot down here. Really has. They stayed up. Still there. I'll show you it later. You'll probably be flat later on. <laughs> Right, so what I've done is this piece of black is I've folded it in half, all right, just to get a little bit of traction on the needle and so that it will attach to something. So I bought this set um, quite a while ago now. Um, it is just one of the, you, if you're going to buy one of these sets, you need to make sure that the fitments on the top let me just show you one of them um, oh, that one would be easier to see this part here this bar that's where my sewing machine will connect um, so you need to make sure that they will fit onto your sewing machine because some sewing machines you you can't just put the think me me think you can't just pull the foot lever down and it will connect this one you can and most newer machines you can do that um, whereas some machines you have to unscrew replace the foot and then re-screw okay so excuse me this has got uh, doesn't actually say it's a multifunctional kit all right and the foot that i'm going to be using is right down here at the bottom this one okay so they're calling it a darning foot on this which it is you know you can darn with it windy and wet oh dear your sewing machine foot is a screwing one, right, yeah. So if you was going to get a kit like that, you need to make sure that it's the right kit for your machine, okay? I wouldn't suggest just going out and buying a kit like that without checking first. So what I've done is I have taken the foot off. With the darning foot, on this machine, you do have to screw the darning foot in, all right? So I've not only taken off the foot, but I've taken off the shank that would connect the foot as well. All right, because that would close down on the top of that and clip in just like that. Okay. 
Oh, you could change your own foot as easy as oh, wouldn't it? <laughs> so yeah, I had to. I'll take it off once I've done, and I'll, I'll show you because I've got to put the other one back on. Unscrew the side, the left hand side, because the screw on the right hand side is for the needle. So it's the lower one on the left hand side. Um, take that the foot and the shank off and then replace it with this one all right so i'm going to close the flap down and bring you down this way okay that would be so cool wouldn't it scott so i just don't want to make you seasick that's all that's why i'm closing the flap are you going to stretch that's the question i do hope so oh <laughs> You're sort of looking up a little bit. How's that? Oh, look at that angle. How's that? <laughs> a freaking wish would give anything to change my feet there. Sometimes, definitely. So you can see all... That's the other window there, Cursed. There's ear. Eeyore, me scrunchies, me fridge and me kettles over that side. That's cool. <laughs> so now you can sit with me and see what I'm doing. I don't know if that was me cracking up. If I can bring you this way a little bit. It just, how's that? Is that all right there? What's that? Oh, that's the arm of the chair. <laughs> Once we're settled, they'll have open plan, purpose built enclosures. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, gender separate. <laughs> so, as you can see, the foot on it is the round one. All right. And what I've had to do is. If I lift that up, this covers, can you see what I'm lifting up there? That covers the feed dogs, or in layman's terms, the teeth at the bottom of the machine. All right, so make sure if you're going to be trying this, you've got a full bobbin, which is the pink thing that you can see down here, um, and a full spool of cotton. Okay, because once you get going, you're not going to want to stop, really. <laughs> Scott. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're so spoiled, Sophie, most definitely. Yeah, they really are. Bless them. <laughs> so let's get the fabric i like this angle you can see everything i'm doing now can't you <laughs> you can sort of just about see the corner of the laptop so once you've covered the feed dogs and you've changed the foot okay you need to make sure that your bobbin thread comes up through the center of the feed dogs cover on some machines you've got a little switch at the back that's got like little teeth and then a line above little teeth the one with the line above is when the feed dogs are down you just have to flick the switch over at the back and that will lower the feed dogs for you so you don't need a cover but obviously on this machine i need a cover so it's all good <coughs> please excuse me right so what i'm going to do is i've purposely done black because i have white thread first thing you need to make sure is you put your foot down at the back okay see this lever is it complicated cursed do you know what my love if you ever want to try it just give me a shout all right and i will more than happily talk you through it mate so for the first stitch 
what you need to do is hold on to the top stitch all right and then we're going to wind the needle down and then up to its highest position because what we want to do is actually pull the bobbin thread i don't know if you can see that little loop that's just popped up we need to pull the bobbin thread up through the fabric all right so there we go then we've got the two threads already through okay so as soon as i put my foot down the needle's going to start going don't worry my foot's not on it the needle's going to start going but this is not going to move because i've already covered the the teeth that thread the material through so this is where you've got to be really really careful okay i should really have that switched off still my bad I will stick with my normal sewing machine foot. I don't blame you. Yes, Wilco's has gone into administration, I'm afraid. My mum's getting a new pup. Oh, wow. <laughs> Why not? So, yeah, I am going to have to hold this fabric and move it myself. Okay, because I've covered the teeth that would do that for me in other normal in other circumstances all right in a case like this the return button to make me go uh, do a back stitch is non-existent it doesn't work there's no point pressing it at all because if i want to go backwards i'll just pull the fabric forwards okay so what we'll do is we'll just do a little pattern to start with and i'll show you what i mean I have to go just having food. Take care, everyone. Lots of squidges for your scrummy piggies. Oh, Sophie, thank you for popping on. I know you've got a lot on at the minute, but I really do appreciate it, okay? You take care as well, yeah? Of yourself and obviously your girl, but you know what I mean. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Right, so you know I've got a heavy foot. So I'm going to try and start off slowly on this. <laughs> but if I don't, okay, don't don't panic. All right. Right, so I'm making sure I hold both threads for the first couple of stitches. Can you see okay? There we go. And I've got to hold it steady. All right, make sure that foot's down. right that didn't we've done a couple but then i think the uh -huh. ah right okay gotcha so the bobbin thread got stuck there that's okay no problem we will cut that off and we will try again I'd like to say I did test it earlier, but I haven't done this in so long. Whoops. Out of the bin. You're not going in there just yet. Right, so let's bring that bobbin thread through again. Come on, you're supposed to connect. Thank you. There we go. Sorry, my hand's in the way. I'm just pulling that bobbin thread for, for a minute. Right, there we go. Make sure that that's all in the right place. It seems to be okay. <laughs> Done it again. No. Right, there we go. 
So after the first few stitches, you can chop them threads off. Okay. I don't know if you can see there. For some reason, it's not. I don't know what it's up to at the minute. I'm just making sure everything's tight. work it did work honest <laughs> so I don't want that to be too close to the camera but obviously I'm not a professional you know this is just a test yeah I think the fabric's a bit too thin actually but I'm not going to blame my tools <laughs> I'm not going to blame the tools but with this sort of stuff you can actually make cards oh have you oh can someone ask scott to go out and come back in again please everything should be fine So I'm just threading that again and then with this, like the embroidery machine, you've got to pop it through the um, through the little hole there. That looks like something, but I'm not going to say what it is. I don't know. It's probably best not to because <laughs> I'm not sure what you're on about. <laughs> So yeah, with things like this, you can actually, this is my little tester earlier, stitch it onto a card. This is card, all right, just plain white card, okay, and you can actually stitch onto white or any colour card. Oh, bless him. So what I was going to do was... Give it a test. Why not? Do you need a reminder tonight? No, thank you. Uh, it's all good tonight, my dear. But thank you for remembering because I forgot. <laughs> do, do, do. So what I've done a, quite a few years ago was um, a, a Mother's Day card. Okay. And what I've done is... Let me see if I can find it, because it was a um, embroidered Mother's Day card. No, not that one. Um, but what I've done is I um, photos. That's the one. I've done it on the embroidery machine, which, as you can see, is over here. And then I used um, 
like a strong glue to stick it onto the white card all right but this way i've actually seen people using the the darning foot and actually embroidering onto cards all right if i can find the picture i can show you the one i done quite a few years ago now it was for like um, there was a few crafters that got together and it was for um like a a prize okay but like i say what i'm thinking is instead of doing it on the embroidery machine and then sticking it onto the card maybe with a bit of practice you know could actually do it on the card itself i mean there's so many amazing people that can um use the hand use the darning foot and do hand embroidery straight onto cards i've seen so many amazing people do it um but obviously that's not really my forte so i haven't practiced as much as these people have <laughs> buckle up buttercup <laughs> i still love that phrase um sorry i'm just trying to find it so i can show you because I, I loved it myself but then you'll probably see why when you see it but that's the problem i've done so much that i mean this is 10 years worth of work so <laughs> it's alright, it's not gonna take long. Oh, dog jackets, jeez. So so much. It really is so much. So, I've found it. There we go. So, this was in... Okay, so this was... You might see it better this way. That was... Oh, sorry. So that was embroidered on the machine and then put onto a card okay along with that so yes this this is it practice does make perfect and you never know with a bit of practice maybe oh you just don't know, do you? Oh, you have finished. Um, awesome. So yeah, you just you never know. Do you know what I mean? I know that took a while, didn't it? Sorry. So what I'm thinking is, I've got some stars here. All right. If I just take a piece off. If I just 
chop that down there. So we've just got like a little slice of the stars, okay? Let's see how this will go. Like I say, I don't ever claim to be a professional because I'm really not. But you just you don't know, do you? Unless you practice and keep trying, you, you're never going to know. So let me just make sure that that thread comes all the way through. There we go. Yeah, stop making me chase you around the sewing machine. There we go. It is, definitely is out here, cursed, I tell you, mate. So, like I said, when the first thing you need to do is pull the bobbin thread through the, the top. All right. And then we will, let's give it a try. And I'm just going to try and follow the shape of the star. Can you? You can't quite see that, can you, because of the light? down Mimi for Christ's sake right so I'm just gonna oops not you turn this round sorry camera's kind of going all over at the moment I just can't be slow with my, my foot, I really can't. stop that one there because that was just dodging the camera and but the good thing is the needle didn't break and I didn't break my machine <laughs> so if I switch that off right and then what you can do is this is like a version of um, however you say it um, from where you are in the world applique or applique whatever you want to however you want to call it so then you just trim obviously with better scissors trim around the edge Are you laying down, Kirsty? And you've got your fan on. I'm just checking. Where's my embroidery scissors? <laughs> Do you know it, right? Trim that big bit off. So, 
once I've trimmed around this, you'll you hopefully you'll be able to sort of see where I've been. Right, so you are good. So I don't know if you can see the stitching mainly on that purplish one at the top there. That might be a bit too close. It's just like a rough to show you what you can do with. I mean, obviously, a darning foot, you think you know darning socks and things like that which yeah you can do that's the back of it i know i went a bit off but honestly some of the things that i've seen people do people do like um flowers and you know it's not going to be perfect but they look amazing so this if i can find it was my first attempt uh, last year yeah I mean, as you can see, I did go round it a few times. That was my first attempt last year. You know, it's not perfect. I didn't ever think it was going to be perfect. But I've noticed that I've put stabiliser in between this. So maybe that's what I needed in between the black. Possibly. So let me show you how to... I mean, we're only like an hour and a hour and 12 minutes in how mad is that let me show you how i change this foot okay screwdriver <laughs> so what we've got to do is loosen this one on the side like i say right hand side up here is needle left hand side down here is to take the feet off or swap the feet you know if i can get it in there there we go so that just needs loosening i'm just keeping hold of it so it don't fall down the hole at the side a little bit more Oh, I don't want to lose that screw. Come off then, you silly what's it? See, look, you don't want to let go now. There we go. So, there's the actual foot itself. Okay. And then this handle rests on the top of the needle screw like that and then when the needle of the machine goes down the foot pushes down and then it lifts up and pushes down and lifts up depending on how fast the needle goes all right oh i like transporter that's well good right so i'm going to take the cover off that covered the teeth all right and then what we're going to do is this one which is the normal foot is going to go back on mine um oh i think i'd have to say jason statham right 
so let me just come around beside you and make sure that the sprue is going into the right place because the last thing I want to do is put this back on wrong it is a bit fiddly you know but if you want to give it a try then you've got to um there we go and that's the old foot back on i don't need to pull the bobbin thread up from anywhere because that's already coming up from the center and that's that one back on again okay so this has got to go back in the case because if i lose it i ain't going to use it again So that goes back in there. There are so many different feet in here. Um, maybe one day we'll explore them a little bit. What do you reckon? And um, see what we can do with them. This just goes into this case down here. Which, oh, that's not going to come off just yet because it's in the hole at the moment. Right, so put my screwdriver back over here where that goes right i'm going to put the, the flap down and i'm going to move you back around okay the last thing we want is for you to get all um oh, on my watch How's that? don't fall please no falling allowed <laughs> so yeah that is a you can either call it a darning foot or a free motion quilting foot or not tonight thank you scots but yeah it's um it's all trial and error do you know what i mean it's all um worth a try i'm good i'm glad not i'm good i'm glad you're still there Kirst. so yeah like i say that was last year's attempt excuse me but i've noticed that i've put stabilizer which is this stuff in between because i folded the fabric over and i've put stabilizer in between them so i'm thinking because this is just cotton. I'm thinking that's what the cotton needs. That could, like I say, it was ages ago since I've done that one. But I'm thinking if the reason the bobbin thread kept catching and not coming up was because it didn't have any stabiliser on it. So, more research for me, I think um and if anyone is going to try this out please do get you can get it on like um a roll or i've got this this is just a whole um it's not a sheet but, well it is a sheet but it's a folded up sheet this is the stuff that goes on the back of your clothes on if you get like an embroidered shirt on the back sometimes you'll have this on there all right so it's just stabilizer for t-shirts um baby vests baby grows things like that so i think next time i try it i will definitely be cutting off a piece of that what's what for scott's mate sorry i missed that I would definitely be putting a piece of stabilizer in the fabric and testing it because you never know it could that could be what it was and that bubble has now gone down oh, I'm glad you're okay the stabilizer that I, um, I think I needed that in the black when I was testing that out because basing it off 
Sorry, you're in the bin now. You're annoying me. Basing it off of this one that I done last year on the darning foot, that's got stabiliser in it to... What it does is it just makes it sturdier. But you just told me. Oh, I don't know. It's hot. <laughs> it stabilises the fabric, basically. It's what I use for the embroidery machine. So it will stabilise your fabric and it will help when the needle goes in. It will help to keep the strength. So, yeah. <laughs> And then you go, but you just told me. And now who's the Wally? You're asking what it's for. And then you say, yeah, but you just told me. So making me say it again. Who's the Wally? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you confuse me or I confuse you, Scott, sometimes. I really don't. So yeah, I think a bit of stabiliser in between. I'll keep this black because I'll use this for testing. You can't even see that from there, can you? I don't know why that's gone fuzzy. I'll keep that for testing. And I'll put a bit of stabiliser in it um, next time. Slow typing by me. Oops. Is that your excuse, is it? Slow typing. <laughs> but yes it's all trial and error and practice and what was it Scott's and Nelly said or Nelly said some material in yeah if it's like cotton excuse me like that is, I mean that's just pillowcase fabric that black that's just part of a pillowcase of course that's quite thin isn't it so yeah i think it just needs something to stabilize it any excuse is better than none yeah but what if it's a crappy excuse <laughs> if it's a crappy excuse it doesn't really work does it it smells like wood out here i don't know why Unless it is because we've moved stuff. Mind you, of course, what are you sitting on? Piece of friggin' MDF. Of course it smells like wood out here. Sometimes I wonder myself, I really do. <laughs> it's still an excuse and you're sticking to it. <laughs> oh, I'll show you what else I did get. Even a poop excuse is better than nothing. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't you take sides so i picked up there was a few little bits that thing didn't come from amazon um you remember i was saying i ordered something that's going to help draw along the edges of the patterns that didn't come but this did that is a roller this is for if I can't be bothered to get the iron out, when I fold a piece of fabric and I need to make sure that the line, I'm trying to think of how to describe this, but I'll just describe it my way. When you fold over a piece of fabric to hem it and you need to make sure that the fabric stays folded over rather than using an iron, this can be used. So you just roll it along the edge where you're going to hem, put a little bit of pressure on it, not too much because it is only plastic it might break um and that will keep your hemline so it'll save me getting that out all the time that's yeah, just a little ditty roller they use it for quilting as well i think that was all that i got last week i don't know it's been so waxing the legs i'll let you catch up to where i've explained it are you lagging a bit because <laughs> I've already explained that. <laughs> oh God, is she showing us adult toys now? <laughs> Behave yourself. 
you're bad. Have you caught up now, Scott? No, you know what the role is for. <laughs> Crazy. You lot are crazy. Absolutely bonkers, the lot of yours. <laughs> Slow typing on the interweb. Okay. But you heard the explanation what it's for. <laughs> Did I show you? I've got a whole case of, I think I showed you. Please excuse my arm coming next to you. I got a hay, a case. Oh my god, a case of black and white because I need them not only for my embroidery threads but for my sewing threads as well. And these can be used for both. So, yeah, I've got a whole load more of um, what do you call it? Come on, you should know names for these things by now. Okay, and now I'm looking at it and I can't remember. Padding, wadding, for because um, we're going to be coming up to the cold weather soon. So for bowl holders and seeing as the oven gloves went sort of well, um, for oven gloves as well. And there was something else I was doing that needed padding. That I've forgotten about. Yeah, that's just me. So yeah, I've got a whole another load of padding there. I just honestly, when we sorted the shed out the other day, I was like, "Ooh, that's where that went." Did <laughs> you know me? I put things down. I forget about them. But yeah, I found so many threads. They'd not fallen down the back, but they were just like out of sight. So of course out of sight i ain't gonna think about it if i can't see it can i but yeah it's all good so yeah the box that you're sitting on right if you ever hear this that noise oh did i show you my tags that noise you're sitting on my box which is my box for all my nail projects. So I've got my vest in there that's got to be embroidered. I've put all the um, brains not working. Vinyl, that's the one. I put all the vinyl in there. And I've also, hubby grabbed these for me because I told him that I wanted to try it. Quilling. So he found these in the local shop and they've just got little tiny slits, you won't see it from there, but they've got little slits in the top, right, little slits just here on the tip and what you do is you slide your paper in and then you twist it. I'm still trying to find stuff, yeah true. So you twist it and it twists the paper. We will do it one day. So yeah, these were just out of the little, I call it a shit shop. The local shop. I say local, it was in town, but. And. These are for my, not only my blanket, quilling pens, that's it. I knew you'd know what they, what they were, Nelly. These are for not only blankets, but I don't think they'd fit on scrunchies. Um, but anything that's like fabricy that I can't hand stitch or run under the machine to put a tag on it, it's just a little leather tag. And you can wrap them over so that it's half, like over the edge of a blanket or... You know, I thought they were cute. So, yeah, as you can see, we've been out shopping. <laughs> Got a few bits, not much. Right, just closing this this drawer again. You might hear a noise. 
All right, that's not going to close while you lot are sitting on top of it, so I just have to wait. So, yeah, got a few little, little, little bits, you know, bits to try quilling with because I have wanted to try it for a long time. Um, the little tags for the blankets, I think that's just a nice finish, finishing touch. You will get used to your new place. Ah, oh, they will. They will. It's lovely, though. Hang on, I'll move. Why will you move? Oh. <laughs> you get. <laughs> it's alright, it's not going. It's because the laptop's on top of it, that's why. Honestly. What you like. But yeah. It's been. Um, busy week here really has Kirsty I've started what you asked me to do um that's the one where I might have to do one part again because I run it through the hand crank and it did start missing like skipping stitches a little bit so I might have to do that I swear is that dog out here can smell a gun I thought um I will probably have to do that strap again it could be because the stabilizer was too thick I'm not sure okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> I'm almost tempted to tuck it under me I've got my cushion out and I thought I'll put my cushion on it because then I'll be up a little bit taller Still a short ass. Doesn't work like that, does it? But yeah, it, it is in the process, Kirsty. Nelly, I've got two more to do. And then that box is filled. And it's not too heavy, luckily. I'm used to it now, and I'm living on the level, just trying to find stuff. That's what it was like out here when we moved because we literally everything went out into the garden. The machines went into the house, of course, just in case Gunner decided, oh, that looks like a tree. <laughs> um, get the booster chair from the car. The booster chair. I know what you mean. There is no booster chair. Little lady ain't small enough for a booster to, booster seat. Um. But yeah, everything came out. Like I say, Gunner decided to come in and just lay on the floor. He had his ball and his toy. And of course, his nose was touching his ball. You know, he weren't allowed to let that go too far away from him. But are you? Hmm. Yes, nothing else just yet. <laughs> But yeah, Paul's putting it all back. Because you know I would never show you this side because of all the gardening stuff. That, but don't get me wrong, the pressure washer's under here at the back there. You know, car washing stuff and all that is it's down here. But at least now, if the camera turns, I ain't stressing about it. I ain't got to worry about it. You know, it, there's no, oh my God, I've got to keep the camera where, where it is. Because it doesn't matter anymore. Even if I'm on this table and you guys are facing that way again, you know, I haven't got to worry. And if someone moans about a broom being in the corner, then they ain't got to live here. So I'll work in this. So. <laughs> So yeah, it's um makes me feel a bit more at ease as well. Because then I haven't got to stress about it. If little lady wants to knock, she knows to knock and then move back so that she can't be seen. You know, it's it is, Scott. It really is. So no, if the camera moves, the camera turns a little bit, doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? Even if 
Yeah, even if the door flies open. Bloody moths. Look, can you see it? Hold on. I swear to God, they wait. You little shit. They wait until I open the door to all fly in. But yeah, I don't know where it's gone. It's around here somewhere. We had a big hawk moth in the house last night. Keep it a surprise. Yeah, keep it a surprise. If you see it behind me, let me know. But yeah, it's, um, I ain't got to worry about it. I ain't got to stress. And it is, life is way too short to stress about the little things. It really is. But yeah, it's all good. And I've still got 20 minutes with you. So is there anything you want to see before I go? Just let me know. Are you coming under there? What are you doing? You'll get caught, silly bugger. Don't be eating my fabric, please. I'll find you. Oh, shit. Where's the spider? Did you evict it? Um... Oh no, it's still there. It's just sort of poking its little legs out. That's up there by the vent. I don't want to move the camera too much because I don't want to make you see it. But yeah, that's up there by the vent. I was tempted to hoover it, honestly, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. So I'm looking around for that moth. Just could not bring myself to do it. So Bob stays there. His name will probably change next week, but for now it's Bob. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's a couple of garden chairs in here, you know, just the fold up ones. But I ain't fussed. I'm really not. Because I ain't got nothing to be worried about. The only people that are worried are the people that are hide things, aren't they? So, what the hell? Is she resting at the minute, Scott, or is she watching? Because if she's not watching, I'll show you the fabric. The connector hasn't come out. And that's not moved, so it wouldn't have come out that side. It does seem a bit laggy. How is it your end? I'm getting no comments at all. Oh, there we go. Had a thought. Could you make patches for jackets? with catchphrases on with the big machine i can with the embroidery machine yes she's in the room resting okay let's uh well give her a big kiss from us wouldn't you tell her we missed her okay and so she's got coloured Mickey Mouse. I don't know if you can see that properly. Um, and then on the other side, it is black and white Mickey Mouse. And the strap is the one that I've done on the um, hand crank. But I don't know if you can see. There, it's like... I can lift that bit of thread up because it's skipped the stitch. But yeah, her strap is white. Okay, okay. I wanted to check that she wasn't watching before I showed you because that would ruin the surprise. 
But we have our Nelly to thank for the idea of the bottle bags because it was they were all her idea, bless her. She's been amazing with ideas. She's been so so good with some with ideas for me of what to do. Let me just pop these back behind you. And yeah, you know, they're um, they're going well. Well, I'll show you what I did find the other day. So in this bag, YouTube's playing up, yeah. So I've still got loads of clips. Hair bands with bows on, all bows that I've made or little ladies made. So I found that. There's a um, big unicorn one there, look. <laughs> so I found that. And little lady did try these on. But no, her head's just got way too big for them now. I think she's nabbed one actually. Diddy hats for little people to embroider on or put an embroidered patch on. And if anyone's thinking of ideas for Christmas, I have lots of face cloths, flannels, whatever you want to call them, that can be embroidered on. I don't know if you've seen any pictures of them. I found baby vests, I found polo shirts. God, honestly. Oh, I've got more patterns here. What are these ones? Yeah, there's just so much. I'm still looking for... I probably won't even use them. Not with the... Um, my sort of thing. There's that one. And then that one. So I might just, I might put them up, get rid of them ones, because the more I keep in here, the more it's going to um, clog it up. <coughs> Little dinosaur fabric that's ready to be stuffed to make a cushion. And Christmas Mickey, that is in the shape of a cushion, that's waiting to be stuffed. <laughs> All this stuff I've done and I've just completely forgotten about it. It's crazy. It really is mad. But I've got a whole bag of stuff up in one of the boxes up there with like embroidered flannels, embroidered baby grows, t-shirts, you know. There's just so much that I managed to find. It's amazing. It's quite cool though when you go through it and you think... Ooh. Where did that have gone? I know, tell me about it. I've got all my zips as well. But yeah, there's just there's so much stuff. Kirsty, was it you that wanted to see the inspired ears? Because I did find my templates <laughs> that's the ear template that's the fabric template and this is the headband template and I found a couple of um, headbands as well that I could attach them to so yeah honestly there's just so much stuff I found so so much I'm going to try and make a cube bed for my guinea pigs. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds awesome. You're going to have to show me once you've done it. You'll do it. Of course you will. You're Kirsty. Of course you'll do it. But, yeah, it's um, like I say, well, I'm doing it now. I'm noticing myself tidying up more as I go along. It's mad. It really is mad. But I've still got the Star Wars set the cushion and the seat belt cover if anyone was 
would like that. Um, there's just loads of stuff. There really is. Absolutely loads. Tia, I might as well sit here and chill with you for a little while unless you want to go. That went quicker than what I thought it would. <laughs> Can I check and let you know what hair colour, what colour hair bobbles I can get for little munchkin to go with her uniform. <gasps> Not already. <sighs> that has just gone so quick, hasn't it? That has gone way too fast. But yes, of course you can. I'm not sure which ones. I'll just flip them out. Because I did do, I mean, they might be quite big for the little lady already. But there's the, the green hair bands with the bows on. And then we've got the green, the green clips with the bows on. Um, I've also got red clips, but I do have, I think there's some more red up there some more red ribbon if you wanted red um and i've not got any blue left apart from these really big ones and i think they'll be too big for her but yeah let me know if you want pictures for mum and dad to check like to see how big or how small whatever just you know you can just give me a shout but yeah they was um i remember when i first started doing them i done you know the huge, they're about that thick, but really huge boxes. <laughs> oh yes. When we moved, we had to downsize everything. The stuff I chucked out was unreal. I had no choice, nowhere to store it. Yep, I know that feeling. <laughs> but yeah, like I say, I've done, when I first started doing them, I've done a massive box of some red some blue some green um and the woman absolutely loved them We've got little tiny pink ones as well pink and white oh there's purple purple spots that's got four in there you sort of see that one but yeah i've got more ribbon i've got the thick and thin green up there. Let me just have a look for my bikes. <laughs> um, let me just check. I mean, obviously, I can order some more. Yeah, I've got a little bit of green and a little bit of red. And then I don't know if you can see just here in this corner. Hold on. Just here these ones that's the thick, thin one and that's the thick one all right but yeah if there's any other colors just give us a shout it would be an honor to make them for her for when she goes to school bless her still got all my gunk washi tape look my christmas washi tape found that the other day and all there's just so much. I thought, oh, I wonder where that's gone. And it was in here. I just couldn't see it because it was in a drawer or it was, you know, tucked down the side of my machine or, you know, tucked somewhere. <laughs> somewhere so safe that I couldn't find it. What's that? See, that I'm finding it. I've got a little drawer set, little tiny drawers up above your head. Oh, there's another one. I think this was little lady's one that she done. She tied them both together. A little blue one. A little purple one. Yep, they are everywhere. This was an idea for a cushion ages ago. Before I got my embroidery machine, right? 
I used to practice calligraphy. When you do a clear out, it's amazing what you find. Every, oh, isn't it just? But yeah, I used to, I tried calligraphy because I thought if people want, because what I used to do is cut names out of felt. And I used to sit and hand stitch when I first started the names onto cushions. And then I thought, well, surely there's like a, a fabric pen rather than just fabric paint, a fabric pen that I could use to put slogans and stuff on. So this was a test. There's obviously not like great calligraphy but I found it through dangers untold and hardships unnumbered I fought my way here to the castle beyond the goblin city you know what film is from to take back the child that you've stolen for my will is as strong and my kingdom is as great you have no power over me <laughs> but I thought you know what give it a try so yeah Oh, do you know what? I just couldn't get the hang of it, Scott. I really couldn't. But yeah, I've got fabric markers. I've got textile painter glitter pens. What film? Come on, really? Sharpie um, fabric pens. Yeah, I know. It's, it really is crazy. Oops how much you find when you go through you think jesus christ did i really have all that sitting there that is sticky um velcro yeah it's mad but see i don't i'm i don't mind showing everyone now you know i'm just well, I didn't mind in the first place, but it's mad. It's just, it's crazy when you realise just how much stuff you have crammed into one little place. Because this shit ain't huge. Here's my catchphrase. I know your catchphrase. <laughs> I already know your catchphrase. So I'll leave them in that bag, Nelly. Just give us a shout, my lovely. But yeah, still got loads of seat belt covers, you know, loads of other stuff. Put all this back. Strangers by birth, lovers by marriage, soulmates for life. Ah, oh, okay. I thought you were going to say Dilly Gaff. <laughs> but yes, it is mad just how much. We'll check with mummy and let you know. No problem at all. Just how much you find. I mean, I've got ribbon sitting up on the shelf behind you that can't fit on my ribbon holder that hubby made me just because I've got too much of it. Not this time, missus. <laughs> but yeah, crazy. Mr. Gonk's going to be able to go up soon. I'll put him behind me with his little Halloween boo on him. I've noticed, actually, I saw an advert for the range. Um excuse me they've got quite a few um crafty halloween bits so i'm hoping to go and have a little look during the week and i might just come away with some put the gunk upside down and do you know what i might do that just for Ange. <laughs> oops hey dune <laughs> I might do that just for Ange. Stick a staple to his butt or something. Hang him upside down. <laughs> but yeah. 
it was good though. It was good having a having a clear out and just seeing what I have and haven't got. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Please excuse me. I mean, we've got the barbecue wood under the table. I'm dreading having to pack through loads. Throw loads away months ago and still have too much. Oh, I know, but won't it be good, Nelly? It is needed, mate. Just so long as you've got your important bits and you've got your undies on, you'll be fine. <laughs> Just make sure you've got your undies on. <laughs> Just in case. But yeah, no, that that'd be good for you. It really would be good for you. But yeah, it feels um, it feels more spacious in here. I'm not as closed in as I was sitting over there because I had all the scrunchies and everything around me and the shelf above my head. And whereas sitting here, I haven't. So I'm glad. Although, like earlier, I had to move the camera down. Just so long as you lot are all right with that. You know, because it does feel a lot more spacious sitting this side than it does that side. At least if I stand up here, I've not got a shelf to bang my head on. <laughs> so, you know, I won't knock myself out. <laughs> Are you doing all right, Kirsty? I'll be off in a few minutes anyway, but I just want to make sure that you're doing all right. You're always checking on other people, bless you. See, something else. Bro Fred, they're the spools that I use, these big ones. That I use for the embroidery machine they are thread nets where you put it over the spool and when you stop it doesn't loosen all the thread so yeah little tiny nets in there you can't see them because they're white mm -mm. it's great doing a clear out it's only then you realize how much crap do you know what I still want to go through all them boxes it's just crazy yeah okay You do, Nelly. You do, mate. No one is allowed to give up. It's not happening. Not on my watch. Yes, yeah, she does matter as well. Like I say, she's always asking how everyone else is, bless her. Just wanted to make sure that she was okay. Our netty must have been busy today, bless her, but I'm not going to. You know what I'm like. I'd never pull someone for that. She does. We love our Kirsty. I'll have this with you, and then I will shoot off and let you lovely people get sorted. I've got um, some scrunchies to pack away. Um, I don't think I'm going to make any more just yet. Because I've got so many over there still. Um, oh, Angela would have been perfect to ask, actually. Never mind. Um, but yeah, I've got a couple of scrunchies to go out the door. Do this thing for Ange. Um... Don't open the door, the killer moth will get in. Tell me about it. You saw the size of him, right? Honestly, the one from yesterday, it's crazy. Little lady was like, no, don't let him in. I didn't let him in. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Yeah, the big boy. That was like a side view of him. It's 
so I didn't realise that light was flashing. It's not. So what the hell? I don't know. Oh, um, the scrunchies. Because, thanks, Nat. Go away. Um, that is a biggie. Well, it was a biggie. I sort of put a cup over it, a bit of paper underneath it. And it looked like a mini bat flying. It really did. Um, I know Angie's hair's thinner than mine. Can she get one of my scrunchies over her hair four times so that it's really, really tight? Charge that thing rent. I know that it had to go. It couldn't stay in it. The thing is, I heard it land. That's how big it was. I heard it come in and hit the deck. Little lady wanted to keep it. You know what she's like for for any any animal she wants to save it. You know, whether it be a tiny little flyer or a big hawk moth or whatever, she wants to save it and keep it. I'm like, they're not supposed to be in the house. If it stays in the house, it will die, darling. So... So we've got to save it and put it outside. I'm afraid so. <laughs> I don't want to die. So yeah, I think once I've done this thing, um, packed up, packed that up, packed the scrunchies, done it about four times oh you have oh brilliant because um someone wants to test one and i've said yeah that's fine it's not a problem um but they're asking if it would go round four times and i'm like my hair's really thick i get it round twice doing this so i don't know if it goes she does have thin hair yeah that's what i thought so does my friend um so i thought she'd be the best person to ask but that's that's perfect. Thank you. Awesome. Good stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna send one for her to test, um, and then if she wants any more, I can test it for you. I should have sent you one, shouldn't I? Bummer. I forgot. That's all right. I'll send it to her. She can test it. It's probably better off her testing it anyway, so that she knows how many times it goes round in her hair. But yeah, I mean, I make them for me. This was one that I made as well. This is out of my sewing machine fabric. So I wear them myself. She hear you asking. Oh, bless her. Hi. <laughs> I kick your butt if you're not resting. <laughs> She's probably sitting there going, shush. <laughs> but yeah. It's all good. So, yeah, what I was going to say was, once I've done that, I'm going to start on them clothes. Um, so, I'm going to get Hubby to get them boxes down for me that are up there. And I'm going to try and find... Um, awesome. I'm going to try and find that pattern. Did I take it in the house? You know the trousers from last week? The trousers and the top that everyone said look really nice. I'm sure that came with that magazine. If not, I'm going to look on um, the pattern website and have a look, see if I can find them. But that's what I'm going to be concentrating on. Obviously, if orders come in, then they're going to get done straight away. But I want to finish them pair of bottoms from last week. Um, and I also want to start a dress for little one. Nelly. So I just got to find one that's that's small enough. I was gutted that the other one wasn't small enough. I cut it all out and everything. But never mind. Not to worry. Yeah, I'm going to shoot in a minute. Do you know what? I still I forgot to send my mum the link. Honestly, she says to me, "I'll oh, go and send me the link." I keep forgetting. <laughs> I'm terrible. I look like bleeding Tinky Winky at the minute with that bit sticking up. But yeah. 
it's um hopefully next week won't be as busy and i can come out and get it all sorted i know i'm gonna have to go down there and um sort her out a um account so that she can come on and have a natter tell me what i'm doing right what i'm doing wrong probably sort me air out and clean my hands <laughs> Oh no, she don't tell me to clean my hands, does she? That's someone else. Yeah, probably be sort my hair out. That's normally what she does. If she watches, she goes, Yeah, your hair was a mess. <laughs> but then that's my mum. She just says it how it is. So I will give you a warning now. <laughs> She's terrible. But she's bloody awesome. And no, I'm not just saying that, just because she might watch back. She is awesome. <laughs> right, let me turn this music off. There we go. 43%, that can be charged. In the house. Oof. Oh, that's a spider. Come here, you little what's it. No, don't jump on my arm. Jump on that. Thank you. You can still make that dress. The three-year-old will fit. A, she will love it. More than happy to help me drop the pants. Oh. I was well gutted when I realised. So I might just do that. <laughs> Keeps dropping, so I reckon I'll have to get the box thing changed. Oh. See, I've had this one for ages. This is an old BT one. We only use it to bridge it from the house. But yeah, I'll um, I'll get them trousers done. Like I said, I've still got to put my logo on the vest, which is in that drawer. Um, and yeah, I'll go from there, Nelly. That might be cool, actually. I don't know. What do you think that spider's coming down on my head? So, I suppose I should love you and leave you. Seeing as we've just been sitting in that room for the last God knows how long. But it's been nice. Hopefully you all enjoyed tonight. And Nettie, no, no, didn't bugger it. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Um, it's nice having the big area that I can use to cut on now. And it's so funny, she keeps calling it on the line. Ah, oh, bless her. Do it, hon. Make the trousers, then do the dress. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah. Why not, eh? It's worth a shot. If I mess it up, the fabric sitting there didn't cost me that much. So if I mess it up, I mess it up. If I don't, little one's got a dress. <laughs> I've just got to find a contrasting fabric for the front, the little um, pinafore bit. But when I get round to doing it, we'll have a natter anyway, yeah? Hi, Mimi. What about your yesterday candles? Hey, Kurt. <laughs> yes, they look... Um, I put up a shawl earlier, actually, of one of the... It's a gonk, little candles... That turned out really nice. Yeah, thank you for asking. <laughs> Good timing, actually, because I was just about to shoot off. But, yeah, they um, they turned out really nice. I've got one more gonk to do and one more cherub. And then they're all done. And then I'll be starting on the Christmas candles and wax melts. I've got a... Actually, I didn't show you, did I? Only little ones. Um... It's sort of mid-size, really. I don't do massive um, candles or like um, church candles or anything. It's just um, novelty candles. Yes, I've got to start making them early, Kurt, because otherwise people will, will ask for them and I won't be ready for them. So, yeah, I've got to start making them early. And we're having, I don't know, I'm not sure where you're from, um, 
unicorn skid mark wax melts and monkey skid mark wax melts. They sound a little bit off the wall, but they smell really nice. <laughs> That's just my sense of humour. <laughs> um, pine cones, Scott. I've got some, it's, it's about that big, pine cone and a little Diddy candle mould. Austria, we're careful about candles, only use them if no electricity. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are just li little novelty ones that you light at Halloween or Christmas or, you know, they're really cute. But yeah, I've got loads of them on my page if you wanted to have a check. Check them out, have a little look. But I love gonks, so of course I've got to make some gonks. <laughs> But no, it's nice to see you, Kurt. Thank you so much for popping in. So many trees are burning. Oh, God, yeah. And over in, um, oh, where is it? Is it Hawaii now? They've been devastated, haven't they? By fires and... Is it Hawaii with the fires? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah. Monkey fart skid mark. And unicorn fart skid mark. We agreed. That's what I said, wasn't it? <laughs> In a bucket. <laughs> yes, I will do one head dune in a bucket for Ange. Or I'll try to anyway. If not, I'll just stick one head, head down. <laughs> yeah, Hawaii. I thought so. Yeah, I've been seeing it. I don't watch the news that much. Um, but yeah, I've seen it, but I only meant Christmas time. Ah, oh, right, it's right, it's, it's late, getting late over here. It's five past ten in the evening, so my um, my battery pack, my personal battery pack is starting to slow down a little bit, <laughs> so it takes a little bit longer for me to click up here. Why don't they? Um, we're Austria. Why don't they? Have you got, because um, I know last year it was over here and there was some another country that donated um, all their old used Christmas trees to zoos. Um, pandas love them. And was it monkeys? Chimp, uh, gorillas. I'm sure it was. But yeah, I'm sure. They, they should do that in, in most countries now. The wick will be coming out of its butt scots. <laughs> it wouldn't be able to stand up, though. <laughs> I've got the Mickey taken as I've never watched EastEnders. You know what? There's some people that haven't. Didn't realise Caps was on. That's okay. Not a problem. I ain't too fussed about caps lock on here. <laughs> I read them anyway, so. But yeah, I'm sure um, you can donate your old Christmas trees to zoos and stuff. And um, they can reuse them for the animals. I don't know what they do with them, but should not throw out the window. I think I can do it. <laughs> hey, Alex. See, you're coming on now. I'm just about to end it. <laughs> Check it out, Kurt. Ask your um, local zoo or, you know, because I know um, my brother, his one went off. Oh, was, it, was it his? No, it wasn't his. Or even my brother mentioned it or something. I don't know. But, yeah, um, loads of them over here were being donated to local zoos and, like, wildlife parks for the animals. Uh, take care, Kirsty. Let me. Um, do you want me to leave you as mod for next week as well? I was just annoy annoy Jerry when he goes live. I'm not sure if he's going live this evening. I don't know because I know he said um, he was feeling a bit tired. I'm sure he said that. Yeah, he's not on at the minute. 
Yeah, all right. Thank you, my lovely. The light's flickering. Replant it and use it again next year. There's another idea as well. If you've got space outside, yeah, definitely. It was live earlier, yeah. I don't mind being the mod for Angel or Nettie when needed. Well, you was the only one on tonight, Kirsty, and you've handled it like a pro, my love. So thank you so much for that. Right, anyway, I'm going to shoot off my lovely people. Thank you all for popping on, whether it was at the end or at the beginning or in the middle. It didn't matter. It was lovely seeing everybody. Thank you all for popping on. If you do want to watch what I've done tonight, it was at the beginning I showed a nano bubbles. And just after that, we've done a little bit of um, free motion sewing or darning. Um, if you want to look back, Mimi, I don't mind being... Yeah, I've just read that, and I? But yeah, thank you, Scott. Give Angie a big hug and a kiss from all of us, please. And tell her, get better soon, or else Mimi's coming to get her. <laughs> But yeah, please do have a lovely week, everybody. I will see you Sunday. I don't know what we're doing yet, but we'll figure something out. Um, and take care of yourselves and each other, if you have each other. Have a nice sleep by Mimi and all lovely people. Thank you so much for popping in, Kurt. It was lovely to see you. Right, I'm off. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely week. Look after yourselves. I'm not kissing her, I'm married to her. <laughs> well, blow her a kiss for me then. Right. See you later. Bye. Over and out.